on the phone. Hey, first of all, first of all, I stop it, stop it, Hollywood. You think wrong? Yo, yo, yo. Hey, you know what time it is. And like we like to do at this time, we on the phone. Uh, Let's make some yeah, noise. Yes, Today sir. we got Hollywood. Mm. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Another Hollywood story back at you. And oh, we got Sharpshooter Go. in the building. Pop, 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 pop. Hollywood killer. Yeah, let me go on and bring them in just like this. Say, like, you know, like we like we like to start out every every time. We finna do some shout outs. Hollywood, go on and give you shout outs, man. Shout out to Lewis Rogers. Shout out to uh um uh, uh, the people we're gonna be talking about today. Already, I like how you doing on that, man. Say, man, hey, sharpshooter, it's your go, man. Get it. Shout out to West Texas in the house, all them family members out there. Shout out to East Texas, and shout out to my beautiful wife. Yeah. Hey, yeah, shout out to her, and shout out to my wife, too. Shout out to all the lovely women all across the world, man. We finna get into a touchy, touchy subject today, man. I just want to end it off just like that, man. Okay, 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 okay. So... You know, we all <sighs> go through a lot of situations in our life, right? So I actually have a friend, right? And he told me some stuff that was just crazy. And I was like, hold on, ho- hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to stop right there because we got Money Moses in. Let's go on and get Money Moses in the building, man. Yes, I, sir. I, I, I see Money Moses right there, man. Uh, We got him mic'd up and everything, but we need to get him into the building, man. We need to show his face on the screen. Look like he driving yes, or going around the door, whatever he's doing. No telling <laughs> Money Moses, you know. I'm yes, saying. sir. But we fin- we finna get him on the screen right quick. Hold on, I just need to do a little this, a little that, and we fin line him up. I say you hearing double right now because you uh. Hold on, let me turn y'all. Okay, we don't we don't hear Money Moses right now. Money Moses, I want you to just cut your uh volume down a little bit or if you got headphones you switch to the headphone and then you won't hear double and we won't hear double either but y'all all can hear money moses no we cannot S- say something give no, me my test we, he, he, he need to be on the phone with you because he's on his phone and he, he need to call you while he's on there yeah, Money Moses. That Money Moses right there in the panel, y'all. We done added Money Moses to the screen. Uh, say, but ho- ho- hold on, Money Moses. We finna call you, call you, and plug you in real quick. Say, Hollywood, go on, call Money Moses, plug him in real quick while I tell his story. I mean, uh, hey, sharpshooter Hollywood, uh, Money Moses uh, just locked off you real do it. quick. I'm on. I'm already. I'm, I, if I do it, then I'm gonna click off the story. So. I don't want to do it. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. I love you, money, Moses. Uh, Moses just loud off real quick. We finna get him back on here in a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think Stevie loud off. Let's see what's going on. Stevie, Steve, what's up with it, man? It allowed y'all. Hold on. Let's see if I can get money, Moses, on the phone. Okay. 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 All right, all right. So Hollywood, say, 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 man. Hey, they going to go get uh, Money Moses on the phone. Steve going to click back just like this. We live, we lit. Say, man, make sure y'all follow our other channel on the phone. You can put it all together. Sebra, you going to see us just like this, this screen just like this, man. Make some noise, man. We are live, man. A lot could have transpired. Hold on, hold on. Who is that on my phone? Oh, hold on. Say, uh, oh, that's Stevie. Steve, what's up with it, Steve? Mine and Moses don't call you phone because I can't merge him. You call. Okay, okay. Yeah, he could just answer. 
Okay. Let me call your phone. Hello? Hello? We got a lot of technical difficulties going on. Hold on. I, hello? Yeah. Hold on. So, um, right, so, there you go. Man, there you go. I hear Y'all out. I hear Money Moses. Nah, he not on here yet. He tried to call. You tried to call in Hollywood. Tried to call in and left me with you in Hollywood. I, yeah. It's, hold on. It's Money Moses a, just got back on the link, though. Money Moses, call me again because y'all all tried to call me at the same time. It's still showing double. It's not letting me call. Money Moses. Money Moses. Uh, nah, try to call right now. I should be able to get you. They was calling at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, yes, sir, man. man. Hollywood, your video just stuck on you and your dreads. I guess you just want to look like that. Just have a picture, right? Here go Moses. Say, what's up with it, Moses? Hold on, let me get you in. Uh, then. Hello. Yeah, Why are you doing it? Money, so money, good, money on people's... the line, man. Money, money, money on the line. Hey, money, so money, Moses. What's great? What's happening? You done told this. Oh, my name is got a secret. He's gonna expose it. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Hold on, man. Say so, yeah. Hollywood just plugged back in. Say, but it anyway. So I got everybody on the line. Say we got to get Money Moses picture up on there so they can all see, man. Say say Moses, man. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll we'll find a picture. Uh. Yes, now, sir. Hey, I I was on the subject because a friend of mine. It's Hollywood back. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh. Okay, go ahead, Mike, with my bag. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he, he he was like, bro, like I didn't ask this dude time and time to stop hitting me up, and I'm like, what you talking about? Stop hitting you up about what? What you talking about? You know what I'm saying? And he said he keep trying to get at me. I was like, get at you, like fight you or something, or something like that. Nah. He was like, now nah. try to get at me. Like I'm, I'm thinking he tripping and shit. He doing something with his hands and shit. What you mean get at you, nigga? If he trying to get at you, he trying to fight you, right? Something like that. But nah, he talk, nah, bro. He gay, bro. And when he said that, I was just like, oh, you know, your face just go like, oh. And he was like, man, it's been like third, fourth time he tried to hit me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do this type of stuff on my on my little page and stuff like that. And he's sending me DMs, I, all type of weird stuff. And I, I was just like, hold on, man. That's crazy, bro. Like, you really let him know? And like, yeah, he really let him know. But the dude still, I, I, I don't know. I know that that's a sign of disrespect. You know what I'm saying? You asked him more yes. than one time. More than one time. And then you told him twice. You told him three times. Like, now it's to the point where he want to kill. He want to kill him. Because it, cause it's just like his his anger going to be so at the ball and point because he shouldn't have to consistently Keep saying this to somebody because he not like that. And why do homosexual males want to attack gay males for no reason? It like we don't attack you. So if we not attacking you for no reason, why are you attacking us for no reason? They feel like it's a challenge for them. Money Moses. I don't know what type. Kicked it off. They feel like it's a challenge, bro. They feel like they feel like um they gonna get on one day. They gonna keep trying, keep trying, keep trying until they get hurt. And then as soon as they get hurt, they they gonna feel like well we was wrong, we was aggressive. Oh, we that's that's a hate crime. Like bro, no, but don't know. Ain't no rule for them to tell stop. Ain't no rule for them saying stop doing towards us, but it's rule for us to stop doing towards them. Mm. There's no rules for straight male at all. None whatsoever. No straight, no rules for us. Straight men. It's, like, it's always, uh, don't worry about it. You a man. You can handle it. You can take it. And then if, if we go tell somebody, hey, we the bad guy. We the snitch. Uh, we ain't the man. 
We always gotta take one for the team. So don't worry about it. Or get over. I don't think there's normal. There's a man. It's not. Not at all. Like, like how do you tell somebody, hey man, look, you don't even see me even watching like this, so why would you even try to question? You know what I mean? Right. But then if I attack you, then what? What you gonna say then? Because you done violated everything I done told you. The warning, you got this and all that. What, what I go do? What I go tell somebody? They're going to laugh. Am I correct? They're going to laugh. Exactly. They're going like, to laugh at us. And then you beat them up. Now you you part of the, the problem. Oh, yeah, you see that. It's, I think it's too... Like, man, look. It's too much going on in the world for us to be even focused with all this extra stuff going on. You know what I mean? Like, we can't even ride down the street without getting pulled out the car and probably harassed and all this stuff. So now you got to deal with this on this side, but then if you protect yourself, then you got to deal with oh, well, this person is built like this. Hey, y'all feel realize that we got we got to take something from every single race, include our own we, a black man had to take something from every single race. Like, we take this from every single race, including our own black women. We take something from every single body, and we don't want that. So, hey, man, look, don't worry about it. We all right, we cool. Like, that's crazy to me. Mm. So, Sharpshooter, how you feel on this? Well, man. This is a real good question. I would like to listen to America to ask if a man keep coming on to you and you don't tell him no, then if you do, laugh him, hit him, do something to him, is that day bad? When you're constantly telling him not to, I think it's really a bad situation because um, they already had a part to be in a situation of being gay. So, I think it's a bad situation when you've made it for the regular people who are one few that do not come on the mean. If you're doing that, you're putting your, putting your own uh, life in jeopardy. You know, putting, putting your own, putting other gay people in jeopardy by doing that because now you're making a dislike and a hatred that comes towards you when you're, when you're comfortable with them and you're being a deal around them and being, if they do that we had a section man, it's gonna make a, a dude feel uncomfortable. I think that's the issue. Well, I'm not comfortable but, at all with somebody that don't share the same interests as others. Well, I'm, I'm not saying, I mean, I'm comfortable with people who don't say the same interests as me. I'm, I'm not, not, not going to lie to you. <laughs> but that's you. But not, I'm not you. So I can't, you telling me, so you telling me you can't be around somebody that's gay? What I would say is, I prefer not to be. Wow. Well, I'm going to tell you like this. I don't care. Just don't tell it to me. Leave me alone, bro. If I ain't bothering you, don't come on to me. I'm cool. Like, if I tell you to stop and you keep on going, it's going to be a problem with me. That's a problem with me, bro. That's a real problem. Now, that, that makes more sense. I understand where you're coming from. But I'm not saying you just... The world is the world. You can't just say that you see a gay man that automatically you gonna say well you don't wanna be around him because they're gay. I mean that's his purpose though. That's his purpose how you feel. I, he he, I, he entitled to feel like that. We in a we in a but world. I, but listen though, but listen, listen. Listen to this though. Like you say, it's always consequence behind what you say, how you feel though. And I'm that's always, that's, that's the reason why I'm hoping to explain reason why I say this. Okay. We live in a world where as if you are seen with that type of person that you automatically label that. There's no question of, hey, is that your cousin or is that your auntie or is that your brother or is it it's not that. You automatically label that. So when, let's say you're in a neighborhood, go up in a small area and your cousin that way and they see your cousin go away for 10 to 15 years, he come back still that way, but he's not the same person. And they see you walking, and they be like, oh, man, look at him. He came down with this person. No, I did not. So I prefer not well, to go down I, the road. I've, I've been in that situation before, and that's what 
And I think that would help me out. You know, exactly what you are saying. And I went through the same thing. And I was in the, uh, at the store. And he used to come and speak to me all the time. And this was a friend of my sister. So he knew me. But when he hollered my name like that, I was feeling like some type of way. Like, But I had to learn with them. That was something that I was feeling within myself. I had to fix myself. That was something that he mm-hmm. to I'm going to let me get through. It ain't something that he needed to fix. It was something that I needed to fix within myself. Because I yeah. should be more confident in myself. I don't care what no one right. think about me or what they You're trying right. to judge me on. You know what I'm saying? I have to learn it. I'm just saying that's something within yourself. But when you're saying what, what Monty Moses is saying, is when somebody just keeps doing it you, just because that's not your sexual preference and they keep doing it, then they put you in a situation. You know what I'm saying? That's different than somebody putting you in a situation because you keep telling them no and they keep putting you in a situation. That's a whole totally different thing. I've been in a situation like that. That's one reason why I don't associate myself around none of that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I mainly took myself. That's why I don't really, like, I ran around my cousins and family, but for the most part, like, my friends and stuff, I, you know what I mean? Like, basketball teammates, I don't really, you get what I'm saying? I'm I'm saying, saying, but, but you know, not, you know, you understand it's right now it's like the norm. You know, it, it's not yeah. like it was twenty years ago. Like it's totally different. It is like, nothing, bro. The, I don't care. Bro, I don't the entire the society they making, they making it. Yeah, bro, but I don't see them. It I shouldn't don't see even. Them. When it, I walk by people like that, I don't see them. Like I don't. I, I'm saying, well, what about when you're working with them? What about when you're out with them? How you saying you don't see them? I work, with, see them. Yeah. I, I work remote. <laughs> I work no, remote. No, I'm but, talking about, no, you've I'm been saying, around. I'm saying you've, you've been, been around. around people yeah. we know. Yeah, you've been around and we've seen you with them. So what are you saying? What? When you see me, oh, come on, Steve. Come on, we man. We can pull up the skits right now, Yep, man. we have. On, we we have. Right, so look, let's not you go there. All right, so look, Peaches, it's one of these conversations where it's, it's like I'm never gonna be comfortable why because I've already been numerous times approaching and I done told a person, look, bro, you stepping on the wrong shoes. I, look, I can always tell you I'm a, I always be comfortable approaching them because I know me myself, and I'm gonna tell you a couple times. And if you don't get them a couple times, then hey, it's through the roof of you, bro. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna treat you. I'm gonna treat you just like who I see you is as, as a man. Cause I see you as a man. I don't see you as a woman. To be honest, let me tell you like that. I don't see you as a woman, bro. You were born as a man. I'm gonna treat you like a man. So when you come at me like that, I'm gonna treat you exactly how you act. Like I'm. I don't care. But I'm telling you right now, stay away. I am not. I am not gay. I'm a straight man. I don't like all of that shit. Like, it's cool. Y'all go do y'all thing. Go do y'all thing. I don't care about that. But don't come on to me. We don't bring around me like that. I don't want around me. I ain't gonna I'm not I ain't gonna entertain it or introduce it. I'm sorry. I'm I have a problem with it. But we're saying when you was working I don't have a problem with my still saying how they were problem when you was when you was working with them, you just said you didn't even see them, but y'all was out there working together. I you ain't understanding what I say, Steve. So I don't see people I can't relate to. Like for example, I can walk down the street and speak to a person. And not still remember their face, what they look like, and everything else, because it's just a courtesy thing. But if they doing, if we passing by, I don't see them, because mainly most of the time I'm always in thought, trying to better myself or trying to get some other stuff taken care of. So, but when y'all in the same room and working together and doing everything together, what? No. Yes. As far as what? No. What? You you talking about? Oh, you talking about as far as shooting skits and stuff? Yes, he was there. Well, let's get this taken care of. The whole purpose of me sitting here saying what I say is because, like I said again, I I don't understand. So I'm not even trying to. Okay, so uh, I get it. It's more like uh, understanding, like you don't even look at people's sexuality. You just mainly just. Go keep, through because that's not, yeah, it's not what you know what I mean. 
Okay. I, 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 that, that's okay. I work in. Okay. I work in. I work in. A, I work when I when I did mortgage, whatever. I work in a, a situation where I'm around a people, but I'm working for numbers. I'm not working for them. Okay, you that's said? that's understandable. But now, <laughs> like, yeah. so have you been approached in this way where you felt yes. uncomfortable? Whoa. Okay, I'll give you one. I was in college, right? I'm in college, right? So, I have to grab the state university. That's what I want to say. I'm riding the elevator. I'm coming down the elevator, whatever. We stop on the floor that was known for this is a floor that doesn't, they protected it, okay? I'm not going to say what I want to say, but I'm just going to say they. <laughs> so, we'll get. We in the elevator. The elevator stops in the middle of the floor. It opens up, right? I told you, I'm uncomfortable. I'm perfectly fine how I feel about a lot of stuff. When I'm uncomfortable, I'm going to get to somewhere where I feel comfortable. I'm not going to be stuck on no elevator with two guys that does share the same interest. So what I did was I tried to crawl up through the top of the elevator. Are you serious? Yes. Wow, you got it bad. <laughs> you tried to crawl up to the top of the elevator. Yeah, why it was stuck? Oh, y'all got stuck on the elevator together. Yeah. And he was like, oh, he's really trying to get off here. And I said, hell yes, I am. Hollywood, this is the truth. Hold on, see. Right. Hold on, the story don't stop there. See, wow. it's a perfect. It's a purpose for this story, Steve. Yes. So I, I get the elevator, get off the elevator. I walk down the stairs. They, they were still on the elevator for about another 30 minutes. Two weeks later, they came out with a, a list of all the dudes that were straight, that were sleeping with. They. They weren't straight then. They was never straight. <laughs> no, no, fam. Oh, look, it was, it was. A list of twelve pages of men. They were never straight. Wait a minute, hold on. Let's go back. Hold on, hold on, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. For the for the people who don't know what's going on, right now we're on the subject of feeling uncomfortable when the opposite sex. Not the opposite sex, the same sex. Yeah, you guys you can't say that. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. (laughs) Yeah, because I'm pretty sure not too many people feel uncomfortable when the opposite sex come, right? So, right. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're talking about. Stevie, Steve, you going to chop the door. Yes, I'm just trying to figure out when Hollywood say that. Uh, what do you mean that they came out with an article? Did you say they came out with an article? In the no, they came, out, they came out with a list. A list of all the guys from all the way from Alphas to Omegas to... A list. Okay, but what? Who, who made this list? Who you think, Stevie? No, I'm asking a question. I, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I'm gonna say they. Okay, so they put they put out a list. You're saying that the, the they put out uh, a, a twelve page list of every man in every college in the area that was yeah every D boy. Every football player, every basketball player. And this was happening at Grammy? Yep. And what year was this? Mm. Hello, 2006, 2007, 2008. Yeah. That list went on for two years. I never was on the list. I just put it like that. But I can't. Hey, I can't tell you though. Just because you're stuck in the elevator, don't mean you're gonna be on that list. That's what I'm saying. I wasn't gonna take a chance. <laughs> Bro, your chance. I mean, yo, listen. Yo, your brain is your chance. Your brain hey, is your chance, bro. Hey, you look, my man, you got not worry about. Hey, money Moses. You know what my brain was telling me, fam? Escape. Get out. Get away. Run. <laughs> Well, I want to ask you a question, Hollywood. And I want to ask you a question. 
Is that is that considered gay bashing? Yep. I want to know what how America feels. I don't care how America feels. I'm gonna tell you that now. I'm I'm just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, flag on the play. Tick, tick, tick. Oh, hey, look, look, I'm just being honest with you. We live in a society where the world that we live in became feminine, let's just say that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? We not able to say what we really want to say and stuff like that because it's violating people's rights. Yeah, the world do has think, become... So do you feel like they, they have too much protection in front of you? Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting Yep, so they do. I do. What? Do y'all feel that way? Yeah, they got too much rights. I never feel like a person got too much rights. They got, they got more rights than... They, they got more rights than straight, than straight men. Yeah, but then do you think that they fight for their rights more? We've been fighting our whole lives for, for rights that we can't get. They 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 soon to become that way and then they get more rights than us. But I don't want to hear that from nobody. No, 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 hold on. But what I'm saying is, you're saying that we've been fighting our whole life, but it's, let me say something, man. I'll go by the, but with the words that a house divided cannot stand. You know what I'm saying? And I mean that if you're a divided people, it's more hard for you to fight for the right to come. I think the reason why they get their rights is because they stick together. That's right. just my opinion. They I don't believe so. Stay together. I don't believe so. I don't That's believe what so. I believe. I do. I, I'm just, I, I promise you I don't. I promise you they don't. Because guess what? They just they got bias in their situation too. Yeah, but they might have bias, but when it comes time to fight for their rights, when you see them, they all together. When they go to having parades and different things, they there together. They I fight for their rights. I think they we just substituted it. us out and put them in. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so, bro. I'm being... Come on, man. Look, please see this. If you get pulled over and they tell you, hey, I've got, I'm getting arrested for speed. They don't even ask you your credentials. They just say, I'm detaining you. For what? Speed. You ain't going to read me my rights? Oh, you don't got no rights. I don't understand what you just said. Just listen not. to what I'm saying, Steve. Listen to what I'm saying. I get pulled over. Am I am I making sense now? Okay, you get pulled over. I get what? pulled over. They never asked me who I was. No, I'm detaining you. Tell me they're detaining me. And then I say, I have rights. They tell me I don't. So you're they they referencing so that you just like what the dude he keeps coming on to you, so he's not respecting your rights, and he's telling you you don't have rights to me trying to talk to you. I'm gonna keep trying to talk to you. Is yep, that that's the same way? That's how you come refer on, man. That's the way I see it. Yes. Why? Right, come on, bro. They just be real honest with you. They. It's some point where they not they targeting the, the not us they targeting the other people man. we just a part of the collateral damage that's going on let's be honest hold on hold on hold on hold on I'm not a part of no collateral damage because I came in this where I'm going out <laughs> and that's right the world. I, and this, yeah. you and know this, what I'm saying this. say I I don't understand. How they can keep pushing on so much, and when we say something, oh, you just gay bashing, and now you want to ban us. Not right. That's not, not right. At all. Let's talk about the history, the past events of this, and then let's see if it. And it wouldn't be. It's not. So. I don't think it's not, and I think a lot of people are scared to talk about it just because they don't want to get counseled. We just seen plenty of careers get taken away or get squashed to where, 
Uh, they probably making 30% or 40% or 20% what they was making before the incident. That's horrible, man. That's horrible, man. And my thing is this. When, when, all right, so everybody else can say a lot about us, but we can't say nothing about nobody else. Uh. Money Moses. I want, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want to go to Money Moses. It don't make no sense. Let's go to Money Moses. Ha, ha, have you had a situation like this? Yeah, I had a situation like this. You. Would you like to share the story? <laughs> um, what's going on, bro? They don't know how to stop. Like, like they, I don't. It's like they don't. They, they like pretty, pretty men. So of course they gonna keep trying, but they don't know how to stop when you tell them another first time. They want to keep, <laughs> okay. going, keep going, keep so, going. He say pretty, so, way so, way pretty. So, uh, he said you probably gonna, oh, you probably gonna tell a pretty man. Yeah, I'm a pretty man. Handsome, bro. Handsome, bro. Okay, handsome, bro. okay. We... I'm a pretty man. <laughs> no, pretty man, most... handsome man. Hey, well, well, whatever you yeah. want to call it. Pretty, handsome, yeah. sexy, whatever you want to call it. Hey, but see, this is what I'm saying. They never <laughs> he teach said, you the not a pretty way boy, said, a pretty though, man. Bro. Oh, but, but no. <laughs> no, really listen to this, though. They uh, never uh, said the proper uh, way. They never said the proper way to address a, 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 a man with statues. You get what I'm saying? Hollywood and my most say they some pretty men. Lord have I said I was handsome. <laughs> I ain't say nothing about no pretty. <laughs> and I'm pretty. They didn't have to fix the all name. Above. It's no longer pretty boys. It's pretty men. Pretty men. <laughs> We're pretty men. <laughs> like pretty men. <laughs> I'm a and they, I'm, listen, I'm a they are that. listen. And they are they, they, they look at us there. Okay, okay. We need to get somebody uh, that's of that nature. Well, I can tell you a story, though. I can tell on. you a story. They so, try to, so they can be they gonna try to, to Hold say. on, hold on, hold on. They, they try to inbox you in vanish mode. Oh, man. So nobody want to see it. <laughs> Boy, they, man. Bro, then we tell them, we, listen, we tell them, now nah, you cool, then ain't where I go. You gonna keep pushing. I won't see nobody. I won't do this. Number. I'm not. That's not me. I don't care about you. I tell nobody. I don't, ain't nobody gonna find no shit because ain't nothing happening. It don't even matter, bro. I was. I'm the issue. And then soon you start getting gangster with them. Oh, now you the wrong person. Like, no, you can't do that. What do you mean get gangster with them? What is that? <laughs> 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 no comment. I played the field, sir. Oh, stop. Gonna like the young thug case. Plead the fifth. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess Monty Moser and Hollywood are both. Hey, man, look. I'm just gonna say this. I can't. I'm not comfortable around them, they, whatever they call it, whatever. I appreciate whatever they doing. Keep doing what you do. You know what I mean? We can do business together, but it's gonna be on the respect factor. That's all I believe. Okay. I'm not. I'm no, not please, disrespecting listen, nobody. Character, I don't believe. Nobody else. I do I'm not. Just, I do not believe a gay man can can can, can be respectful around me. I just I don't want to thank you, bro. I know females can't do it. I know males can't do it. So, hey, I don't know around me while this type of shit going on. Oh. Wait a minute. They can't be respectful around you. What do you mean? Why? Because I'm a sexy individual. They gonna keep looking, bro. They gonna keep looking. They gonna be putting ideas in their head, bro. They can't be around me. Oh, man. No, oh, I know they gonna come on to me. So, no. America, Monty Moses said he's a sexual. He's sexy. I'm, I'm a, no, no, I'm a sex symbol. You a sex symbol? <laughs> yeah, I'm a sex symbol. So, hey, they gonna look at me at that, bro. Like, hey, it just is what it is. Well, I smoke, man. This is Prince is this? in the building. <laughs> so you saying you the top ten best looking man in the world? Nah, I ain't saying now. 
But you up there. You should, you should feel there. like that, bro. Ain't, ain't nah, 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 nah. Hey, 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 bro. I know this world, bro. This world gonna let you think like that, bro. I know goddamn well I ain't damn sexy, man. I'm in the world, bro. I'm not gonna put myself in that category if you even think like that. No. Don't make me feel like that. I know. I know I ain't, but I know I'm up there. I know I can get what I want to if I have to. And yeah. nobody can get what I want. Mm. So, no. I know I ain't up there in the top 10. I don't know. The, the top 10, the top 10 sexy men, the one that's gay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Uh, uh, well, my, well, man, good thing, man. Miley Moses is telling it the way it is. Uh, uh, well, that's, well, I'm, that's I'm, the discussion. I'm going to say it like this. That, that's hey, the bro, that don't play with me, man. Look, I'm Hollywood CR. I'm friendly. So please don't approach me talking about, hey, what you mean about this? I'm going to tell you. I really feel. And they're going to approach you and say, well, on the podcast, you said you're friendly. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be your friend. Like, Man, I, I can't even I'm not, I'm not a part of none of this. <laughs> I, have no well, I, had, I had an incident, right? Stevie said he was friendly. No, Stevie said he was friendly. I ain't never said I was friendly. You ain't never heard me tell nothing. Hold on, man. Don't make us press rewind and rewind the tape, Hollywood. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, Hollywood. Don't let us rewind what you say. Stop that now, man. You you just told the dude that was walking by you're unapologetic. All right. Yeah. So now now y'all something. I ain't never told nobody I was friendly. What in the world? Oh, he got quiet, man. Yeah, I know he did. Yeah, it was crickets. But uh, I would. <laughs> hey, I'm just gonna sit here and look frozen. <laughs> Boy, I had to go buy four brand new tires, bro. Oh man, roll the bed. Not running from these gay people. Oh man, man oh, come on, yeah, man, 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 that's not the same. Now, 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 listen, now listen, when you take phone. it that far, then it's just gay bashing, right? Yes. We want to mm-hmm. know, America. Okay, and that was the discussion. I, what do you think, America? What do you think, America? <laughs> what you think, know, America? What's <laughs> and what's take taking it too, it too far? far? Money Moses want to know what's taking it too far. What it is, America? We want to yeah, know, man. America. All I know, Money Moses, you know your preference. You know what you like. And I, I'm working with I'm a future porn star. Oh Lord! Oh, oh that's what got him kicked out the you show going? the last time. America, hey, we <laughs> love y'all. We on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Say like we like to do around this time. Say man, we finna start giving them shout outs, man. Say man, Hollywood. Yo. Want to shout out, man? Hollywood don't want to yeah. shout out nobody, man. Say we want to shout out that dude that was in the park. That's who Hollywood want to shout out for making us late. Oh man, oh man, we didn't make the five thirty, but we made the six. Hold on, man. Yes, Say, sir. Buddy. Say, buddy, Moses, is he still in the building? Who you want to shout out, man? This the shout out. Money Moses has disappeared just like Hollywood. Hey, buddy Moses don't want to shout out nobody either. Say, man, say shout out to the world, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out for everybody. I don't believe, I don't believe this. I don't Make believe sure this you leave a comment. A shout out podcast. Make sure you leave a comment <laughs> on what's going on in the discussion. And hey, that's man, it. I, just, well, I, think, I think it's a real subject that Americans need to talk about. But, you know. And probably would say he's unapologetic. It looks like he's doing a lot of apologize. I ain't doing but, uh, for nothing. But, but I just say, man, I want to shout out to Dallas Tech and thank y'all for listening. Hey, man, we had a good go. Uh, Monty Moses said he's going to go up to his job right now where he's playing and he's going. I hope you uh, film well, Monty Moses, <laughs> in your new career that you say you got going on. Uh, I'm just saying, and Hollywood, man, you know what I tell you, Hollywood? Hollywood, he isn't talking to you. I'm listening. <laughs> Listen real well. Boom, 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 boom.
Hollywood chill all the set. Oh man. Oh man. He just outrageous. Dude. Say, this has been another episode of On the Phone. On the Phone. Hey, first of all, first of all, I'm stopping, stopping Hollywood. You're big problem.